get on YouTube for five motherfucking hours talking about a bitch that makes more money than you in the back of you in two days. And you're an attorney. You stem hip What's going on, y'all? It's your guy T is the five. Your boy CJ 100. And we are the 5100 Podcast. Sipping wine out of cup like a real nigga. Yes, yeah, so sir. Your Ooh. thoughts, my boy. Man, this situation started when the lead attorney made a video. He did a live about could Tasha K go to jail based on information that she was given by a um, a officer of some sort. Of some sort. She yeah. on the federal level, right? And she was leaking. R. Kelly's emails, phone records, his commissary, everything. So, what happened was the lead attorney pretty much gave a breakdown of how this could be turned into a legal case against Tasha K. So, uh, Tasha K gets, he, she starts filming a video and she's like, Yeah, listen, 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 guys. She says, uh, I'm go I've got a plug. She says, don't worry who the plug is. Don't worry where the plug's at. I've got a plug into this private information. She says, I'm not going to tell you where the information is from, but y'all know me. I got a million subscribers for a reason, right? And she starts, she starts reading the transcripts of the telephone calls that he's having with his girlfriend. So Tasha K did a reaction video to this and she pretty much just went off like straight emotion like bad like badgering the guy talking yeah. crazy about him it's just was like man this like insanity it's bro insane. we honestly see lead attorney was doing his job his, well, his job in a sense in a sense yeah you know he was going by the facts he was going by his expertise. If you don't know who the lead attorney is, right. he is a 20 year attorney. 20 right. years. He been yep. doing it a long time in right. Atlanta. Now he does do divorce. Yes, um, family but, court. Yeah, but you know, they have to know all this. Man, they got they got to be able to dibble and dabble and all of it. Right. So he gave his expertise on the case mm -hmm. and could Tasha K be facing charges. It was like, what I saw was, he never said that she is in this trouble for certain. Right. He was just going off the reports. Right. And that he took into account, and then he said, okay, this is what it could, this is true, basically. Yeah. This is how you would break this down legally. Mm -hmm. This is the, these are the ramifications she could be facing if what this report is saying is true. Yes. Basically. And our perspective on these was, Seeing how Tasha K reacted. Look, me personally, man, I respect Tasha K. I, yeah. I remember seeing Tasha K when she had like 10, 20,000 subscribers. Yeah. You know, I'm not a fan of Tasha K, but I respect her as a YouTube because. A grind. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, she 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 put the work in. I respect it. Yeah. I've never been a real fan of her content, but right. I can say I respect her grind as a YouTube. It's always been uh too messy for me. Yeah. Um, it's like she enjoys the the gossip and the mess. But you know, she has a fan base and women like that type of shit yeah. overall. Like men, some men do too, but overall that's like a woman thing. So she's yeah. she's feeding into her base. I can't be mad at her for that. Right. But that's why I don't watch. Right. So when she did her reaction video yeah. to this straight emotion. Nothing but emotion. Like she went out of her way to try to drag this guy, talk about who he sleep with, talk about. Come on, man! Like, she brought up the white women. Right, like. Like we still pulling that car. Come on, bro. Come like, on, bro. Why y'all don't pull these cars on Serena? I'm sorry. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. Megan Markle. Oh, well, she's not black. Or is she black? Y'all think she black? Is she not black? Whatever. Whatever fit the narrative. Right. But, so it's just annoying. Yeah, and it's like it was no reason to even no. go there, bro. No. It was like, come on, man. Like, look, if you was feeling the way about the evidence that the lead attorney put out there, 
or the conversation that he was having, right. that's one thing. Hit him up. Hit him up. You got the juice. You know. So you got that, a million subscribers. Nah, right. So we know you. You got. We respect. We respect what you got going. Yeah. But uh, I was watching the O'Shea video earlier, and, mm-hmm. I, and I want. I want to be clear about something. Ain't nobody scared of you. Right. Like, yeah, you got some power. Ain't nobody scared of you because you got some power. No, man. sir. A real man don't bend the knee to that. To nothing. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So it's. And, and bro, I was really disgusted. Yeah. Because she brought up the fact that he couldn't get black women in high school. So he was forced to get white women. It's like, what else? <laughs> what else was he going to do if like, that's true? Right. Like, if that's true, if black women don't want me, what, I'm just supposed to be gay now? So I guess it is. If you don't, if I can't have you, nobody can. Mm. And that's the point we talked about offline. But we were talking about how so many guys will use the, the reference of, well, why didn't your baby daddy do this? Or why wasn't he that? And it's like, why didn't y'all give these guys a chance? We said we got the slogan here. Right. Choose Russ first. Yes, sir. Y'all don't be choosing Russell Wilson first. Mm-mm. And then when he chose something different, because people don't know this, but Russell Wilson was married to a white woman first. That is correct. So when he do that, he's a sellout. Mm. But when he come back to you or do what you want him to do, he's a king. Nah, yeah, thing straight. So that, just that point alone is just like, it's so stupid to yeah. me. It's like Tasha. Bro. You, you don't even have to stoop that low. Man. Nah. Look, we with the lead of turn on this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, look, all he did was present the facts and what could be used in court against her. Like, he didn't bash her. He was actually shouting her out pretty much the whole life. Like, in a, she'd been grinding for a long time. She do her thing. Like, he was big in her up. It's just, he had to present the evidence. And you know what's so crazy, bro? Talk to me. Even though he did that, he still had to tiptoe with his evidence. Bro. Why does he have to do that? Why Why do men, every time we have something to say about a woman, we got to tiptoe around it? You know, y'all saw the video we just dropped. Yes, sir. We were talking about the Mercedes more. Mm-hmm. We didn't want to constantly put these caveats in there, but the pe- women are so sensitive today. Yeah. And simps along with them. Correct. You can't just bring out your points about one aspect of a person without them saying, she didn't deserve this. She, it's, uh, men are tired of that. Right. This man, you watched the line. Right. This man was walking on fucking eggshells. The tight rope. <laughs> and it's like. That's why he do that, because he trying to balance. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, bro, like, that's what we saying. It's like, man, this man had to apologize. He had to, uh, uh, be careful with his words because he knew he was gonna stir the pot even though he did it in the best way he could tasha k completely went off on this man completely belittled him like it just disrespect just disrespect call him all type of bitches like come on bro good dick like straight hip like uh, all of that milk dud head it's like, like it was you know it was some of it was kind of funny but it's like it's not funny in context no Cause like, why are you doing that, bro? We say this all the time: facts over feelings, and that's what happened here. The lead attorney brought the fact. Mm-hmm. Tasha K bought her feelings. Talk to him. And at the end of the day, bro, facts always gonna be over feelings. And who's to say? We don't know how this case gonna turn out. Tasha K actually could do real prison time here. Right, and if she don't, she's gonna be slapped with a pro crazy ass probation mm. or a crazy ass fine. Right. We know how the game goes. Come on, and man. The feds don't miss. No, and we not we don't want Tasha K to go no. to jail. It's but not about this. See, no. see, we just had to do it. Exactly. We just see, because it's like <laughs> like we can't just have an objective opinion yeah. about something without it being we hate women. Yeah. We want to see her fall. I don't give a damn. No. Oh, a matter of fact, I do care. I hope she keeps winning. Yeah. But I don't respect some of the things she do. Correct. And this is one of them. Yes, sir. And it's and it's coming. And then she made sure she kept talking about a black man with a white woman. Hmm. Like, what is... Seriously, sisters. You know what? I'm going to leave that alone. That's for another conversation. And the fact that she got an African husband don't play no role in these. It's like... Like, look. Women choose to make the argument when they want to make it. And she called this man out for gossiping and it's like is that gossip if he was gossiping what's the issue you done made your fortune 
off of gossiping. You done made all the million followers you got came from gossip. That's not okay for a man to do to you. Apparently not. And, and, and not only that, at least the lead attorney had facts, had uh, 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 paperwork trails. Some of the gossip that you bring up, it just be told. Now you have some receipts. Now well, you have a source that don't nobody can nobody can, can really verify. Verify. So, and I don't want to get to this hypocritical. That's what I'm saying. That's what it is. This apology. I'll put air quotes around it. Yeah. It ain't too many times like I feel bad about dragging somebody, especially when they got my motherfucking name in their mouth. But I actually feel bad this time. I really do because. It's a lot because I guess what's difficult to process is how people um, view but like cutting him down the way that I did. Yeah, it's like no, no. When you when you wrong, when you wrong. You should be able to apologize. There's there's nothing wrong with me apologizing at all. Okay? So, um, and see, when I get sent alive, right, and everybody's telling me, I I can tell I can show you the DMs like it was just him. I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? So when I get in there and he's saying, Oh, yes, yeah, she can go to jail, like and you're supposed to be a lawyer. I'm like, are you serious? So you really, you really on here? I felt like it was a gaslight for views. That's low. And yes, this is a sideways apology because I do feel like I just felt like that I was wrong. Like the how, how you how you act is how you act. You understand what I'm saying? That's how you act. That's on you. However, I shouldn't regardless of what's being said, worry about what in the fuck somebody is saying. Look, <laughs> we have seen this happen so many times, bro. Where it's the, I don't, I don't apologize for what I did. I'm apologizing to apologize. Because I, I could have been nicer. <laughs> right. What? Come on, bro. I didn't have to slap you. I could have just pushed you down the stairs. R pretty much. I ain't had to stab you. I could have just punched you. But the point is, you did something wrong. Like, and it was a but. That every time. And she flexed the money. Yep. That's always a number one indicator who with the bullshit. Yep. It's like, Tasha K, you, you with the bullshit. Come on. Time. And I'm sure you might not see this, and I'm sure if you do, you're going to feel a way about it. Look, man, just like you can call out men for what we do, and look, you be wrong sometimes. Yes, sir. I ain't got no issue with that. Mm -hmm. But um, in this situation, you were dead ass wrong, and your apology meant nothing. Nothing. There was no sincere apology. Not at all. If you want to apologize to that man, you a grown woman. You know how to apologize properly. Yep. You a grown woman married to a African man. Yep. But if you want to apologize, you could have. And like, bro, to me, this whole situation was disgusting, but it's just on one end. It's just on Tasha K to me, bro. I, I can't respect that at all. Yeah. So, y'all, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up, man. So, for your guy, Tiz the Five, your boy, CJ100, we are the, the 5100, 5100 podcast. podcast. And before you leave, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscription button. And look, it's a little bell next to the joint, right? Don't be Jap. Just go on, go to it and say all personalized and some other thing. Hit all so you get all of our content as soon as we drop. Also, we have a website. The mm -hmm. website is the 5100 podcastcom Yes, sir. Join our newsletter. Check mm -hmm. us out. Let us know what you think. You did.